Hey Jacko, in today's video we'll take a look at MPV, which is a free, open source, cross-platform media player. And I haven't found a file that it didn't play. And most importantly, to me at least, is that it's very minimalistic, as you can see from this image. So you can go simply to mpv.io, scroll down, go to installation, click on this file if you have Windows, you'll want the latest version, it says when it was modified, so I'll click on it. So this is the latest one. Click on this one. We'll have to wait for the download to start. Open the file. So these are the files inside the 7-zip file. And simply extract them to a folder that you want. Now if we just compare the files quickly, as you can see I have one additional file. And this is one that I've added myself. And I'll show you what it does. Now when you have the player installed, you'll simply click on it and you can also specify if this will be the default player that you want. Let me put a video in, so you can simply click and drag the videos. Hey Jacko, do you want to make a satisfying audio visualizer? I'm using the mouse result. scroll wheel to adjust Something. the volume. And I can also go maybe to this video, hold shift and click the video onto the player. And this stacks the video. So I can now skip to the next video or the previous one. But what you'll notice is when I go to the end of the video, the player closes. And this is where the customizations come into play. But before I show you the customizations, let me show you the GitHub. So this is the mpv-player slash mpv GitHub. And you'll have all of the information here. But you also have a fork of this, if you want a bit more nicer looking UI. Because the default one doesn't have any UI at all. So this one does have the UI options, as you can see, so you can adjust some settings. So the GitHub for this one is mpvnet-player-mpv.net. And now we have the customizations. The one that I've added was for persistent configuration and what that does. So currently the volume was set to 10% and by default this is disabled so anytime you open a new video this will be set to 100%. So like anyone the first thing that I've done is I searched how to fix the volume that was stuck and I found out that this player can be configured with scripts. And you don't have to do anything, you just have to copy them. So for Windows, this is the location. So this is my location. We have C, users, username, app data, roaming, MPV scripts. And this is the script that I've added. Now you have a lot of user scripts for the MPV player, so you don't have to do anything besides copying and pasting them. I will link to it down below. Now in this case, I already know that I'm searching for this option. But let's look at the description, keeps volume and other properties between sessions, which is exactly what you want. So I'll simply go to the link, you'll want to go to the code, this one is typed in Lua, so click on the link, copy all of the code, you could also download it. And then in this folder, you'll make a new text file, you'll paste the code in, save it, and then simply rename it to what you want. And in this case, I've renamed it to the same name that we have here. And in case you don't see the file type, you can go to View, Options, Change Folder and Search Properties, View, Uncheck, Hide Extensions for Known File Types. So if this is checked, you won't see the extensions. So now you can see the dot txt and you can rename it to dot lua. So now when we launch the player, the volume will stay the same, but what you may get annoyed by is that when the that? video ends, the player closes. And in this case, go to the folder where you've extracted all of these files and add a new file called mpv.conf. Then open it in the text tool and simply type in keep minus open. And this will mean that the player will stay open and move to the next file 
if it is loaded so let me put in two files do you want to change your black pc to a white one you can do that easily hold shift to add a new one so now we have two files i'll just keep to the end and this will switch to the new video but how you can know what you can actually add to the list well this is what you can add and this list is very long you have some basic keyboard controls and then you have a lot of options as you can see so you have to search for what you want so close it not find it let's see open so you'll want to go to the configuration files which is all the way at the top so you can see we have a lot of them but if you persist you will also find the keep open option and as you saw we didn't need the two dashes in the front we just need this section but you can also specify the yes no and always options so no this is the default it closes yes it means that it will play the new file in the list and this is also default if you don't specify it and if you use always the player will stay open but it won't go to the next file in the list if you have a next file in the list now what i also found very interesting with the scripts is that a lot of people use plugins for making Anki cards and you have multiple different plugins depending on which one you like and that's it now i do want to know which video player you use so let me know in the comments down below and we'll do something else in the next video i'm simon and until next time jackals keep it digital